Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today's video, we are getting back into spring cleaning mode. By the end of this video, the linen closet looks so much better, so much more functional. Also, I had a genius idea. So we've got wire shelves in there and I hate having wire shelves. And instead of going and getting actual shelves and putting those in, installing them and everything, and this project just taking so much longer than it should, I had a genius idea and now my wire shelves they're still there but they have a more stable place to sit so stay tuned for that super inexpensive um, budget-friendly linen closet remodel not remodel but transformation I guess I should say also Justin ended up surprising me and doing some spring cleaning in the garage he worked on a project that has been needing to be worked on for about a year so that's gonna be in this video too so I hope you guys get a lot of motivation from it we've also got some regular tidying up in here too so whatever you're working on today I hope this video gives you some motivation Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just belong me You don't need no space Just follow me Like a mirror you reflect me Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the mirror you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end to show you guys the front porch since I have it all decorated for St. Patrick's Day and I got these new hydrangeas and I so I got this one about three or four days ago and then I got this one today because I wanted you know to have one on each side of the door and I wanted to make sure I could keep it alive first before I got another one um, because they were $20 at Publix so anyway I have been able to keep these alive for four days they still look gorgeous and as you can see I've got ice in there so I've got some ice down in there and I've just been watering them, watering the petals too. I told Justin I need like a pail so I can spray the water out because I've just been bringing a cup out here because I don't want to get the, the garden hose out. So yeah, anyway, they look so pretty. And I've got my St. Patrick's Day door hanger. I'm not going to do anything over here. I'm just going to leave these chairs the way they are. But yeah, that's what the front porch looks like. I'm obsessed with my hydrangeas. So as of right now, I've got all of our medicine and vitamins in here and also in our bathroom. So in our bathroom, this is what that looks like. And it's really just not working out. So I came up with a plan. So I'm gonna put all the medicine in the linen closet. That way it's all in one place. And also the linen closet is in between the kitchen and the bathroom. So it makes sense to put it right here. And you can see we've got these wire shelves and I am actually going to have Justin cut some cardboard and we're gonna put peel and stick wallpaper on the cardboard and put it on top of the wire shelves that way it's not wired anymore and it's like a flat surface and things will be able to stand up on their own better like a light lighting up in the dark 
You make it right, I forgot how to act, it's so plastic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words cardboard is cut now we're gonna put this wallpaper on this is what it looks like got it from Lowe's so if you're on the lookout for it you can get it there are you handsome man you're so handsome bring this stuff out because it's just on the floor so kept that there the moment of truth let's yeah. make sure Sneak this fits and looks right it should because we tested it out before we did the wallpaper so hopefully all of them fit because we only tested one out okay. looks good Let's switch this one with the one on top since it has that crease in it, you know. And you can't see the top one. There we go. Yeah, much better. And once I set what? something yeah. up there, um, it'll lay down. Yeah. Also, if your husband looks at you like you're crazy whenever you're talking about this idea, just know that he did not believe in me at first. And now he's like, it looks really good. Like, this was a great idea. Look how good that looks. Stop me for a second, I got needs. Occasionally, I set them free. Don't hold me back now, I'm in the lead. This part's so cold life. This part. Now I'm going to start to go through all of the medicine some was actually expired so it's definitely a good time to look through everything and I am gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna fit all of these vitamins and medicines in all of these containers Hurt. 
definitely took a while to figure out how I was going to put all the medicines in these containers while keeping them organized and having different categories. And so I decided to just take the vitamins and keep those in the kitchen since that's where we would take our vitamins anyway. And I feel like whenever you're taking your vitamins, you kind of need that um, counter space. At least we do. So I decided to keep the vitamins in the kitchen, but all of the medicine is in here now. So put those on the shelf and now I'm going through this container right here and it had our candles in it and then also body washes. And we haven't been burning candles in our house lately. So I have just decided to keep the candles for anyone who comes over and they burn candles in their house and they want some candles. So I'm basically just giving them out to family and friends whenever they come by. So I didn't want to just throw them away or send them to Goodwill when I know that I've got family and friends who would love these candles. So I'm just keeping them in this closet for now, but I am going to vacuum this space out. It had been getting some dust and dog hair in here, so I definitely wanted to give it a good vacuum before I put these containers back in there. But since I have it emptied out, I am just going to put some other household items in this container, like light bulbs. the next day but this is how the linen closet turned out it looks amazing I'm gonna take you guys through all of it and where I put everything so down here in these containers I'm gonna turn my lighting up just a bit anyway down here in these I have candles and then also things that could be gifts like last minute gifts if I need one um, so there's like chapstick a wallet coloring books Pez dispensers, fun things like that. So that is what I have here. I also put the candles right here because we don't burn candles in the house anymore. And so I'm just gonna give these to family and friends. So anyway, if they want those, they can get them next time they are here. And then over here in this one, I just put extra light bulbs, locks, random household items like that. Of course, this one is toilet paper and paper towels. And then over here, I put our little stockpile. So hand sanitizers, body wash, more body wash. And then look at these, y'all. I just got these off of the Grove Collaborative website. How cool are they? They're like stainless steel. And I ended up getting the pink one, which is vanilla and raspberry. And then this gold one will look perfect in our kitchen, but this one is ylang ylang and hyacinth. So I cannot wait to use these. I'm still trying to finish up the ones that are in the bathroom and the kitchen, but I cannot, I'm so excited to put these out. 
And then over here, I ended up just putting all of my shampoos and conditioners because I figured, I, I feel like there's no sense in keeping them in the bathroom if I only wash my hair once a week anyway. So I can just come in here and grab them on my way to the kitchen sink because that's where I wash my hair anyway. I don't even wash it in the bathroom. So yeah, just made sense to put those with all of these products. And then we've got microfiber cloths in these. These are for our toilet wands. So you just like pop this onto the toilet wand and it cleans it and then you can flush it down. So put those in there. And then I've got some cotton balls here. All of these are medicines and I do need to take these letters off and re-letter them, but not in this video. <laughs> That'll be later on. And then, so all of these are medicines, and then this last one is fingernail polishes and clippers and stuff like that. So I'm out here in the garage right now. Megan has gone to go get her hair cut, and I came back and I was looking around, I was like, man, I really need to clean this garage up. Like, it's a mess. I've got all kind of tools and paint supplies and stuff out. And I started looking around, and we've got two school desks out here that have been here for like, a year like we bought them used and we had the intention of repainting them and letting the kids use them in the schoolroom, and we just haven't done that and honestly I haven't done it that's the problem I haven't done it and so I said you know what while she's gone let me see if I can knock this out and I don't even know what color she wants to paint these desks to be honest with you I'm sure white for the top I don't know about for the rest I'm gonna try my best to get it with what we've got I don't want to put it off and say well I don't have the paint or I don't know which color to use and stuff like that and then it just not get done longer. It needs to happen. Megan always says that done is better than perfect. I prefer things perfect, but <laughs> she says done is better than perfect. So I'm just gonna try to knock this thing out. I'll show you the school desk before I get started. Um, they've got like these plastic uh, seats on them that I can't take off. They're like riveted in place. And so I don't know exactly, I guess I'm gonna have to tape off parts and stuff like to, to keep the spray paint from going over but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna try to set the camera up. It's super bright and sunny over there where I'm filming. Um, so that's why I'm standing in the garage right now so you can actually see me. But hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on and hopefully these desks are gonna be looking good and hopefully it'll be done before she gets back. She doesn't even know I'm painting them or messing, up, messing in the garage out here trying to get this place cleaned up. So hopefully I can get some of these things knocked out before she gets back. All right, so here we are. This is what it looked like. Obviously, I've just got this one flipped over upside down. Um, but they've got these nice blue seats on, and I'm thinking of leaving the seats blue. Then maybe, I don't have silver to paint this, so maybe just do black, like from here up, all of this up top. And then the actual surface of it where the kids will be riding and stuff, maybe do this with a white. Um, I wish I had some silver, because I would love to do this all in silver, but I don't. The trick is gonna be around the seat here. If I wanna leave the seat blue, like I can tape this off and paint this black with the spray paint, but all this, like somehow I'm gonna have to, I don't know, somehow cover this, protect this stuff while the spray paint is going on this. It's gonna be tricky, but we'll see if we can get it done. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair so let me see all your million faces and all your million mistakes you don't need to hide come closer so that we can be together 
right, so as you can see back here behind me, I've got the black parts painted and the blue is all covered up with tape still. All I've got left to do is I need to flip them over once they dry and paint the, um, the actual top part, like where the kids are gonna be um, riding on it, stuff like that, I'm gonna paint that white. So hopefully this worked. One thing I did notice was I was using Krylon paint, which I was really excited about having because I usually really like to use that paint. But for some reason this time it was really runny and didn't have good adhesion. And I know y'all didn't see it on camera, but off camera I did buff over everything like with a um, uh, some, a piece of sandpaper so that I could you know kind of scour the surface up. But I don't know, it just wasn't sticking well. It kind of ran in some spots. It didn't it didn't spray out right. It was more like pointed instead of just like spraying like a wide pattern. So I don't know what was going on with these cans, but um, I think I think it's gonna look all right. We run away. So let us up when we're low Just chase the waves We'll make it up as we go If you're heavy I'll show you where to go Want you set free Behind the town for love We run away To get us up when we're low I won't let it hold me down So it is not my day for painting. <laughs> so I told you the issues that I have with the spray paint earlier. And then I had a leftover can here in the garage and I said, well, let me start with that one. I'll, you know, finish up as like a paint and primer. And as soon as I started, it was just like spraying out like splatters and stuff. And I was like, no, I don't want that. So I've got another can that should be enough to paint these two tops. And I get started painting and y'all saw me paint the first one, which I think is not looking good and definitely needs a second coat. And I start on the second one and it just quit spraying. There's still half a can there and it's just not spraying. I'm not sure what's going on, like the nozzle is clogged or something. Also, I accidentally dripped off of the piece of cardboard <laughs> that I was using to protect the rest of the thing. I dripped paint onto these blue seats that I'm trying to protect. So I'm gonna clean those up real quick. It shouldn't shouldn't be a big deal. I can already see that I've got overspray on some of the black stuff, like over here on the side and all, and down there is where the paint's dripped. But let me see if I can clean this up, see if I can salvage this. I don't think I have any more white paint, so I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but see what I can do with this. So I did not have any more white spray paint that I could use, but the good news is I had a quart of white, ultra white, I think it's called white paint. So. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna pry the nozzle out of this and poke a really small hole in the top of this and st <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face anymore. I, I half y'all just leaned into the screen like, he doesn't actually think this is gonna work, does he? And the other half y'all leaned into the screen going, does this actually work? Can you do this? <laughs> but, no, I'm gonna get this out and I'm gonna get a paintbrush and I'm just gonna end up painting across the top of those things. Hopefully it looks all right. I don't want to show like any like brush strokes or anything like that, but hopefully it's going to make the top of their cabinet even stronger than maybe the spray paint would have been. I'm feeling happy. And moments ago I was only empty. What did you slip me? My heart is racing and I'm getting dizzy. There must be some complicated after effect of this. Will I wake up in your bed and regret everything I did? Like a hangover, but leave me needing one more fix. She said, shut your mouth and kiss me. Hey, don't waste your breath, cause you know what I'm feeling. Midnight's closing in, and I won't wait for you. Don't think about it twice, we're way past second guessing. And I want you now, just shut your mouth and kiss me. It can get lonely. Swiping left and right to meet somebody And they won't get to know me, but that's okay In retrospect, I do it over and over Cause that's just how we met There must be some complicated after effect of this Will I wake up in your bed and regret everything I did Like a hangover, but leave me needing one more fix She said, shut your mouth and kiss me Hey, don't waste your breath Cause you know what I'm feeling Midnight's closing in And I won't wait for you Don't think about it twice We're way past second guessing And I want you now Yeah, shut your mouth and kiss me In the parking lot, in the backseat Don't dare 
so here's the almost finished product uh, I've still got to put one more coat of paint on there I don't think y'all can see it because the exposure is too high here on the camera but um, I can see a little some little spots that need to be touched up but other than that it's pretty much done I mean the chair looks good it's not a perfect paint job but considering I had like no prior planning for this or anything it's not bad I can see some little spots on the silver that I missed right here but other than that, I'm pretty pleased with them. It's a lot better than them just sitting in the garage for a year. I think we bought these off of like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace for, I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks like a year ago. So it'd be good to finally put them to use and let the kids use them. So this is how the desk turned out. I am so happy Justin did these. They look amazing. I'm so glad that this is finally done. They're dry now because this is the next day and now we can move them upstairs. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And I'm also gonna leave some more of my videos up here on the screen for you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.